Hey, it's Jason Hornung from JH Media here, and in this video, you're gonna discover how to analyze your Facebook ad campaign performance data. Now, this is an area that can really, really, really trick a lot of people up and cause a lot of problems. So uh, you're gonna wanna pay attention to this so that you can understand the nuances and how to structure your reporting and everything properly so that you're getting the right kind of data and you know how to look at it so that um, you can make the right decisions inside of your campaign to produce profitable results with your ads. All right, so we're gonna go over to the screen real quick here and um, I'm gonna walk you through a few of the things that you need to know to be able to analyze that data. So first of all, we have to make sure that we're actually getting the data in that's important to us. So you know, depending on the business model that you're using, that's gonna determine some of the key data that you need to set up inside of your reports. Now, most of our clients are using a, a model where we're generating some kind of lead and then we're trying to sell something. So what the first thing that we want to do is we want to use this function inside of the ads manager under the all tools here where we've got this section called custom conversions here. And this allows us to set up a way to track actions that people are taking throughout the funnel. So when we're generating a lead and we're trying to get a sale, we always set up a custom conversion that tracks our lead. And then we also set up another one that tracks the purchase or the sale. So you can set these up based on URL parameters and you just use the URL that people visit when they take that action. So in this case, this is the URL that people see on the thank you page when they opt in. So that's tracking our, our opt-ins. And then this is the URL that people see when they uh, go to the thank you page after they actually purchase. So that's tracking our sales. So we set those up. We've got a few other things in here for other purposes, but um, in a lead gen model where we're generating a sale, those are gonna be those initial custom conversions that you're gonna set up. Then once you have those set up, we actually need to set up our reporting inside of our system. So I always like to do my reporting on the ad set level because this is, this is where we get more uh, data on the audiences and stuff like that versus the campaign level. So these are all the different ad sets that have different ads inside of them that we're running within all of the campaigns in our account. Now, how we adjust these columns is we go over to this customize columns button right here. And then these are all the different metrics that we can look at inside of Facebook. All of these things that we can scroll through here, if that thing will let me scroll, there we go. So all of this stuff, these are all different metrics. So it can be extremely, extremely, extremely overwhelming. Now, what we do is we sort it down to just a few key items that we wanna look at. So I always wanna look at the ad set name because we use a naming convention that will indicate you know, the audience and the type of ad that we're running to that so we know, you know what, what audience an ad is being run to, deliveries, whether it's active or not. The budget is how, you know, what we're spending per day on it and we can adjust that. The amount spent is how much was spent in the time frame. We get to see the CPC or the cost per click. The CTR is the click-through rate. Um, those are indicators that we look at to see how well the ad's performing. And then we have our, our, our custom conversion for our lead and it gives us our cost per custom conversion. And then we have our custom conversion for our sale and our cost per custom conversion for the sale. So we adjust our columns and we apply that and then we actually save that report. We always call it ad set evaluation. And then that way we can come in and we can look at how our campaign is performing on any given day or time period. And we have all of our key uh, data that we need to make decisions right here in the account. Now what you need to do um, after you've got all this stuff set up is you need to validate the data that's coming from your funnel. These custom conversions can uh, return extremely wildly ac inaccurate data. So it can report all over the place. So what you wanna do is you wanna compare those numbers to what you see in your bottom line systems and then you'll know like how in integrity your data is. And then if there is a discrepancy, you're gonna to need to adjust for those discrepancies. Now this particular client, we know that um, the data that we're receiving on the leads is highly accurate. And we know because we've tracked this over time that the data we get on the sales 
is actually only reporting one third of the sales that we really make. So because we know that we validated our data, we are gonna make adjustments to how we're looking at our numbers inside of here so that we can optimize appropriately. Because if I, if I didn't validate my data and I just assumed this stuff was right, um, then I would be making false assumptions inside of my campaign and I could be turning things off that are actually working or I may be leaving things on that are not working, which are like the two worst things that you can possibly do inside of a campaign is shut off the stuff that's giving you sales uh, and making your profits and leave on the stuff that's sucking your money down a black hole of despair. So you do not want to do that. And I see so many people making that mistake because they don't validate their data. They just assume that what Facebook is showing them is right. And that's almost never the case, okay? Now, a lot of you are probably going to get up in arms about that. Well, how could Facebook do that? It has nothing to do with Facebook. It's because of the technology. And if you've been around the, been around the internet long enough and you, you look at tracking and things like that, you'll know that no system whatsoever is going to be 100% accurate, All right? So you got to validate that data. Then once you validate that data, then you can simply make your decisions inside of the campaign based on your key performance indicators that you need to establish before you set up the account so you know how much you can pay per lead, how much you can pay per sale in order to get the profit that you're looking for. And then you simply go through these things one at a time. You analyze them. You turn off the stuff that's not working. You scale up the stuff that's working. And then you look for ways that you can amplify upon the things that are working by testing other audiences, testing new creatives to old audiences, and doing all the little things on a day-to-day -day basis that allow you to keep this thing fresh and grow it into the profit that you're looking for. So that's how you go about analyzing the data in your Facebook ad campaigns so that you can optimize your account and get the best performance out of it, make the most money possible. All right, so if you found this video to be of value and you're interested in being able to have a huge advantage that will allow you to put together and scale Facebook ads that sell, then I got something super cool for you. So what I've done is I put together a, a free PDF that will walk you through our million dollar ad framework. This framework is what has produced all of the most profitable ads that we've ever done for our clients. In fact, we've had over 17 ads that have produced individually a million dollars in sales each using this format. On this PDF, I'll walk you through all the different elements and I'll actually give you an example of one of these ads that has produced a million dollars so you can see what all of the different elements are and you can understand the ideas behind them so you can model it into your own business. Now what I'm also gonna do is take this one step further for you. On top of that PDF, I'm gonna give you a video that I call the Lazy Man's Guide to Targeting with Facebook Ads. This video will walk you through the exact steps that we go through with all of our huge successful clients to get the profit producing targets on Facebook so that you can use the ad framework that I'm gonna give you to put out to audiences that have the highest probability of bringing you a return on your investment and allowing your campaigns to be successful. So if that's something that you're interested in getting, here's what you gotta do. Just go ahead and click the link that we put in the description below. There might be one on the video, there might be one above the video or to the side of the video, you never know. There'll be something on this page that you can click on that's gonna take you to a page of my website where you can enter your email and I'm gonna send you that PDF along with that video so you can get a leg up and a huge advantage on starting your Facebook ad campaigns. I look forward to seeing your success. This is Jason Hornung to the Victor Belong Spoils.